I am not going to be on here too long. I just want to speak briefly on an article that came out a few days ago. And it's titled, Post-Affirmative Action, Asian American Families Are More Stressed Than Ever About College Admission. Now, you have a group of Asians that's trying to do away with affirmative action. And of course, you have some that feel that the so-called Black Americans are in the way of their college education. These are the same people that are supposed to be the smartest group of people. The Asians are the ones that are supposed to be the ones that's moving throughout society and that's going to um, create the world, so to speak. But yet now they're dealing with stress because many of them feel that the so-called Black Americans are in their way. Okay. Now, you can go back and look up the articles and read it for yourself. But I find it interesting that you have so many immigrants that Black Americans fought and protested, that Black Americans supported to get here and to benefit off the rights of Black Americans. And yet these same people find themselves in competition and opposition against the so-called Black Americans. I find that to be quite interesting. Black Americans need to choose their allies wisely because everyone that you think is your ally is not your ally. You also have to be careful when you look at this whole Asian thing because there are so many Asians, so many people from the Middle East and so many Africans. That's a whole lot darker than myself that classify as Asian or they classify as white. So when you see those stats that say that Asians are a growing group in population, it also consists of those from the Middle East. It also consists of Africans. Black Africans also identify as Asian or they identify as white. Very few Africans identify as Black or as African American, okay? So Black Americans really, you know, you have to know who your enemies are. These are the same people that's trying to outdo you. I heard on Tariq Nasheed tonight, this one dude called in, this African, and it's the same story I've been hearing for a long time, how Africans feel that they're doing better than Black Americans. They have more money than Black Americans. They're doctors and they're, they have all these businesses and the white man allowed them to come in and Black Americans have nothing to do with it. They're speaking down on the so-called Black Americans, the same people that fought in protest to get them here are now turning their backs on them and squatting right on Black Americans, especially the so-called Black American ancestors. So now you have a group of Asians that consist of other ethnic groups feel that they're being discriminated against. And not only that, just recently I did a video where this Israeli woman was saying that Black Americans are their problem. So now Black Americans are the problem of Israelis. Black Americans are the pro uh, problem for Asians. And now that presidential candidate, Vivek Wamaswamy, whatever his name is, I don't trust him. 
I do not trust that man not one bit. He's Indian, and I'm not talking about Native American, but most of those Indians from India don't like black people. They do not like black people. They think they are above black people, especially the so-called black Americans. And one of his political promises is to get rid of not affirmative action, but Juneteenth. Why would a presidential candidate, one that's not even from this country, now he claims to have been born here, but his parents are immigrants. And that's what a lot of immigrants are doing. They're coming to this nation, their children come in and they grow up, they're born and they're raised in America. Now they can have the same rights and privileges as Americans. Well, we're living in times now where illegal immigrants have more privileges than Americans do, American taxpayers. They don't have to pay into the system, but that's a whole nother rant. But Vivek wants to get rid of Juneteenth. That is a thing that he vowed to get rid of. He is attacking black Americans on a whole different type of level. So why is it that you have all of these foreigners, not the white man, but you have all of these foreigners now rising up and railing against black Americans, wanting to put their foot on the alleged or so-called lowest group of people in this nation. They come in and wanna put their foots or put their knee on the neck of black Americans, but yet black Americans still remain Democrat. They still remain vouching, supporting and fighting for illegal immigrants. A whole lot of black Americans support illegal, illegal immigration. Feels that they're running from you know, a, a horrible government and they're only looking for a good life. There's nothing wrong with that. And these same people that come here, that's put in the so-called black American community. Look what's happening in New York City and look what's happening in Chicago. And look what's happening in California. Now you have black American Democrats that's now fighting against these sanctuary cities and these illegal immigrants that's taken over, pushing them on the bottom. Now, they have more rights than the Black Americans do, the homeless shelters. You have Black Americans that were in homeless shelters were put out and put on a waiting list so that the illegal immigrants could come in. Look at the waiting list for public housing. American taxpayers are put on a waiting list and the illegal immigrants have priority. Look what happened on Thanksgiving in New York City. They were giving out free turkeys. Taxpaying Americans had to be at the end of the line and the illegal immigrants were served first. This is what your Democratic Party is doing for you and many of you will still vote them in the office. The next election, you will still vote Democrat. And I would not doubt if a lot of you vote for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Or even if they put a black face up there, you're going to vote because it's a black face and he's Democrat. You know, so I fought a lot of this on the so-called black Americans because you refuse to wake up and you refuse to get off the Democrat Party. But until Black Americans wake up and merge together, come together as a unit, right, you're still going to be put on the bottom. And now you have Africans that's in management or supervisory position bragging about how they hire Black Americans and how Black Americans are working under them and how Black Americans are lazy. 
but you continually support them. Many of you are running and fleeing America, going to Africa, and then you get there and then they rip you off. So black, black Americans, you need to know who your allies are. And a lot of you have allowed yourself to lose sight because you see nothing but color. So when you hear these Asian, when they start talking about Asians and, and it's not fair, fair admission, they are coming against black Americans, not the system. They wanna be where you are. They want the rights that you have. And they're coming in, remember back not long ago when the Asians were saying that uh, that they were being bullied by blacks? An Asian business was, I think they robbed these Asians or, 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 or um, assaulted them. And then the media turned around and said it was blacks when it was a white person that did it. See? So beware when you start saying, I am Asian American and I have a dream too. Why is it that they're using Dr. Martin Luther King's speech? Using black American words against black Americans to move black Americans out of the equation. I have a dream too, right? Discrimination in the name of diversity is wrong. And they're not coming against the system, they're coming against black Americans because they feel black Americans are in the way of their future here in America. And then you have those that, that will strongly tell you that you're not getting reparations. These are, these are uh, immigrants or migrants that's coming here telling you that they don't think you should receive reparation. You should go to work and earn your own keep and stop begging the white man, but yet look at what the illegal immigrants are doing coming over here. And they're telling them like, oh, I don't wanna eat that. I don't wanna stay here. And the government is using our tax dollars to, to move them anywhere they wanna go in this country. And many of us are stuck in the ghettos in cities and towns where we live, where we don't wanna live, but yet they're given an option. And when black Americans talk about reparations, something that is old, there's no dollar amount that can pay or to um, repair the damages that were done to the so-called black Americans and the ancestors. But yet even the little bit that black Americans want, you have immigrants is telling you that you're not gonna get it. Why should I have to pay? Well, why should my tax dollars have to pay for you to break into a country? Illegally, well, as of now, they're not breaking in because the Biden administration and Democrats are allowing them to cross the borders illegally. But yet they will come here and tell you that their tax dollars are paying for it and we didn't do it. We didn't have nothing to do with slavery. Well, we had nothing to do with you crossing that border either. But our tax dollars are paying for you. So Black Americans need to know who your allies are, man, because everyone that you think is your ally and Black Americans stop being so quick to give people opportunities. These immigrants that come here to this country and then they feed off of uh, rap music and all the gifts and talents, the talents that Black Americans have, you open the door for them and then they tell you that you didn't do it, the white man did it. And now they're competing with you, trying to push you aside. They want to be where you are and you can't see that, but you're too quick to be friends with them. Remain gatekeepers, but do what a lot of New York City Blacks do. They take care of their own. If you're New York City, oh, they will help you out. You know, you know they will give you, they will give you a spot. A lot of New York City uh, Blacks that have become famous, 
open the door for other New York City. If you're outside of New York City, it kind of be hard to break into certain things unless you know somebody, right? But that's how Black Americans need to be. Stop allowing everybody to come in just because they may have a certain uh, a beat or a move or or a swag. Because even if you listen to Tariq Nasheed and all of these tethers that's calling in, they're using Black American language to tell Tariq Nasheed how Black Americans are lazy and no good. But if you listen to the language that they use, they're trying to sound like you to put you down. So be careful when you hear of Asians, because when you hear the Asian population is growing, that consisted of other ethnic groups. A lot of Africans, Black Africans, are identifying on paperwork as Asian or white. Right. And so you think it's just people from Asia. But they will tell you, I'm like, Asia, why? I had asked some Africans, like, why do you put Asian? Well, South A Southeast Asia, you know, because it's it's, you know, in Asia, it's a part of Asia. Right. So they come here and they say, um, you know, what race are you Asian? You know, Indians, what race are you? Oh, Asian Arabs, what race Asian? So the Asian population consists of other ethnic groups, not just people from China or Hong Kong or Taiwan or Korea. You're dealing with a whole bunch of other people that's trying to boot you out the way. So feedback, tell me what you think. And listen, before I end talking about immigrants, I want to show you guys something. Let's see. One second. I have different colors of these. These are passport holders, right? And I'm going to get the link. I'm going to find the link and I'm going to put the link on the bottom where you can get them off of uh, eBay. There's different colors, right? And this is one, a black one, okay? It's got that little residuity right here. Okay, it's a passport cover. You open it up, uh, put your passport in there. It's got a thing for your wallet, you know. Open that up, put your passport right in there, see? All right, it's a passport holder, right? And then it's got the little band across it to kind of hold it in position here, all right? This is a black one, okay? So better yet here, okay? It's a passport holder. So there's different colors of this thing. These things are nice, right? Because there's a lot of people that that have passports. They may not go anywhere out of, out of, out of the country, but they have it for ID purposes, okay? Here's a pink one, right? Right? And here's a purple one, okay? It looks blue, but it's, it's, it's purple, right? It's purple. So I have the blue the pink, the purple, and the black. But I'm going to put a link on the bottom to the passport holders and check them out. These are some really, really nice pew leather. It's made of pew leather, okay? So I'm going to put it on the bottom. You guys check it out for yourself, okay? So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless. <laughs>